Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning something called as risk identification and risk analysis using Primavera P6. So see, risk can be of different types in construction, like it can be a financial risk, it can be uh, environmental risk, it can be some administrative risk and so on. So there are these risks can be associated with certain activities. So using Primavera, what we can do is we can identify the risk and we can just update their probability and their impact on schedule as well as um, impact on their cost. So based on those particular inputs, it what it what Primavera will do is it will calculate the impact of uh, the that particular risk based on the cost. It will give you some cost numbers that will help you to evaluate the risk that how much this risk can affect your activity in terms of money. Okay. So we will see how to do that. So first of all, you have to just press this particular button of risk in the directory bar, then your risk window will open. So this will look something like this. So what you can do is you can add the risk here. Okay. So you can click on this plus button in the command bar. You can add the name of the risk. For example, some cyclone is coming in the area in which you are doing your construction and this is the name of the risk. Then you can choose a category for your risk. There are some predefined categories for your risk. So this particular cyclone will fall in the category of weather or environment. So we will choose this. If you want to add some category, you can go to admin, admin categories. And in the risk categories, you can add your own category if you want by clicking on this add button. So you can define your own category also. But since we already have a category for this risk, so we will not create one. So type of risk, see whether it is a threat or an opportunity. So this is definitely a threat. But suppose if you have an opportunity, like suppose if you have some, uh, let us say, some extra profit you are making because of some extra escalation claims, then that can be an opportunity because you did not budget this particular claim and now it will improve the profit margins of your project. So that can be an opportunity. Similarly, there can be other threats also. You can try adding some more risk, like maybe because of some cash flow, uh, your uh, your deficit in your cash, or maybe uh, there is flooding in the area, or uh, maybe some claims are to be settled, the impact of those claims and all. So all these can be categorized under the category of risk. So you have to identify that who is the owner, who will be owning this particular risk. So this is not owned by anyone apart from the project manager. So you can choose the uh, project manager or the planning manager here. We'll choose the planning manager. So who has identified this risk? So definitely this risk is natural and uh, through the news one identifies, but still for the namesake, we will put planning manager here. Then when it is identified, the date on which you identified this risk, let us say it is uh, during the starting of the project itself, you identified. So let us say on 22nd October, you identified this risk. Now you have to tell that the exposure start and finish. See, you cannot edit this. When you will assign the activity to this particular risk, then and there it will take the start date and the finish date for this particular exposure. Right now it is taking it as the start date and end date for your complete project only. If you go to the activities and if you see the start date and end date for your project, so it is 22nd and 18th. So it is taking the exposure start and exposure finish as the actual uh, start and finish for your project only. So what you need to do is in the general tab in your detailed view, now you can just update your risk by some analysis. You can just analyze your risk. So category type owner status, this is a, this and all you can update here also. See what is the status? So we forgot to update the status here. So the status can be of different types, whether your risk is active, whether it has impacted your project and now it is closed, whether you managed that particular risk, but now it is closed. The difference between two is here it impacted, but you could not manage, but here you managed it. The risk is still open. It is yet to be analyzed and responded. It is proposed. It is proposed in the sense means it is just a probability that it will occur. Then rejected and closed means the risk did not occur at all and it is now closed. So we will take it is proposed. Okay. Now you can see there here it will calculate some cost based on some internal formulas. How it will calculate you need to go to impact and you need to give your inputs. See pre-response means before this risk has occurred, you need to tell that what is the probability that cyclone will come in your area. So let us say the probability is medium based on your uh, 
weather forecast then your schedule how how it will impact the schedule of your project because of the cyclone so let us say it is high definitely the project will get delayed because of the cyclones your uh, suppose you have done some excavation and all so those excavated pits will get filled with water and uh, your resources will be sitting idle because of that you will have some cost impact also which is again let us say high so it is calculating the score on the basis of your input so how it calculated the score so it has some intrinsic intrinsic formula you can check out the web page of primavera p6 that how it calculates the score so that is none of your business i would say but still if you want to go into the depth then you can check see if we change the probability if we, if we increase the probability then the score will increase so now coming on to the response type so how will you respond to this particular type of risk we will say we will try to reduce it either you accept that it will occur and we can't do anything about it you or you will totally avoid it you cannot avoid a cyclone or you will reduce it or you will transfer the risk from here to maybe some other thing so we will say that we will reduce see transfer in the sense me suppose if you have some issues with the cash flow you try to transfer this risk to some other project and all so you can transfer also but we will reduce it how will you reduce you need to type that you will arrange for uh barricades or maybe you will also uh backfill the uh excavated pits like this you can mention your response description then post response after you have taken these particular actions then what do you anticipate the probability to be so let us say now the probability goes to low and the impact on schedule reduces to medium similarly for cost also it reduces to medium now the score will be 6 only okay so this is how it will calculate the score by itself only now if we go to general then see it would have calculated some cost but this cost is calculated based on the exposure start and exposure finish which is way too much almost 2 3 months so that is why the cost is coming too high once we assign the activities to this particular risk when this cyclone is anticipated so which activity will get affected because of this particular cyclone so let us go here and let us say uh let us say the cyclone is coming somewhere around your 31st october and all maybe till 10th of november or 13th of november so let us say your third activity is getting influenced because of this so we will go to risk and we will assign the activity number 3 to this particular risk which is your foundation including the plinth beam okay so foundation will get affected and your uh, ex uh, excavated pits would not have a backfilled also so this is a great trouble so now see the exposure start has changed from Uh, the initial start date of twenty second October to thirty first October and end date of eighteenth January to thirteenth November based on the activity that you have chosen. If you will add some other activity also, then it will further extend the exposure finish. Now see, it has changed it to twenty fourth of November based on the finish date of another activity. But we will remove this activity. So only one activity will have signed. You can mention the description of your uh, risk, then the causes of the risk, effect of the risk. some notes you can also add so this is how you can do the risk analysis now if you go to general and see the cost then because of this particular cyclone this activity would get impacted and the total cost that your time ever has calculated is somewhere around let us say it is 38 lakh and so it is 3 lakh 86000 and 118 dollars and post response cost is 64353 dollars so this it has calculated again on some intrinsic formula based on the duration as well as based on the probability that you have provided so there is some complicated formula that you can refer to their website so this is how you see the impact of the risk you analyze the risk and you assign the activities with respect to the risk so i hope the video was clear to you all thank you everyone